Woo! This is a very, very powerful speech that I just had to hit up. And we finna get into it, y'all. But first, intro. Yo, what is good, fam? Bam, it is your boy, Jason JV. Got me a little co-host with me. I don't know if y'all can see him very well. But we got my man, Beetlejuice, over here talking about, yo, it's showtime. So, yeah. <clears throat> Boys, look, it's a little excited for Halloween, man. Halloween coming up, man. That they The uh, the uh, spook your mama season is coming up. But anyway, not about that. It's about uh, the uh, lady in this video here who goes by the name of Angela Stanton King. And uh, apparently she uh, shuts down Liberty Plaza over... 2020 election uh yeah i heard about this speech i've actually seen some uh fellow reactors react to um her speech uh my man doc rich shout out to doc rich um I've, i just got done watching his reaction um to angela give, giving her speech and i wanted to show uh, angela some love by uh, reacting to her speech as well so technically this will be a review since i technically have seen this before but either way, y'all, let's go ahead and get into this by liking the hit hit. Go. I to just say that um, it's awesome to be here today with so many like-minded people. I don't know how many of you remember me, but I also ran in the 2020 election. Uh-oh. Come on, Internet. Don't be, don't be dissing Angela now. The election. I ran in the Fulton County 2020 election against John Lewis. John Lewis passed away, and Nakima Williams was a write-in candidate for John Lewis. And I don't feel that I had a fair run. I Hopefully, I won't get indicted for saying that. Maybe. <laughs> I like that, that little shot she fired right there. Like, yo, I find that election suspect, and hopefully, I don't get indicted for that. Because, you know, them the freaking left-side writers, you know what I mean? They, they, be, they be a bunch of poor sports, you know what I mean, when it comes to... Uh, getting their results questioned, you know what I'm saying, which is all kinds of suspect because oh, it's okay for them to question election results when things don't go their way. Hmm, hmm, man, if that'll remind you of a couple of kids playing video games and one kid get, getting mad and he shuts the game off because he was losing, you know what I mean? I mean, bruh, that's that's literally how the Democratic Party be behaving. When things don't go their way. They're like that, that pissed off little kid who sucks at video games. And when he knows he's going to lose, he shuts the game off. I'm just saying, bro. Maybe I might have a chance because I'm black. You know, if you're a black woman and say the election was stolen like Stacey Abrams, then you don't get an indictment. <clears throat> but if you're a black woman as a Republican and support Trump, you just might. But I'm going to tell the truth. And she's not wrong, but I mean, you, these days, of course, you don't have to be a Republican to support Trump. If you're a Trump supporter, no matter what party you represent, you're a Trump supporter. They look at you like like you public enemy number one. Bruh, let's go. There are several reasons why I don't believe that I had a fair shot. Now, I know Atlanta is strictly Democrat. It has been for quite some time. So I'm not saying that I won, but I don't believe that it was fair by all means. And I say that for many reasons. And while there are some senators out here listening and people in Congress, it's very important to understand, and those of us. I ran against someone who refused to debate. Turned down 11 debates. Now, who does that sound like? As a community, how are we voting for somebody that won't even debate their opponent? If you won't show me that you're willing to speak for me or stand up for me against the person you're running against, and how can I believe that you'll stand up for me in Congress? Right. Another thing is, on that day, you know there was a water main break in Fulton County. I don't know how it happened. Hmm. And it just so happened to be in the only room that counted the ballots. If that on screen suspect, I don't know what does. And so I, someone who is a lifelong resident of this great city and town, grew up probably a couple of blocks over here. They call it Summer Hill, People's Town, University and Pryor. We could walk there from here. I've done a lot of work in this community. I've been very active in this community for the past 20 years, 
working alongside my godmother. I've worked in the schools. I've worked in the prisons. I've worked in the detention centers. I've worked at the community centers. I've worked with the churches. Hey, I've done up? my part. I've held book camps at elementary schools. My name is well known. I've been in entertainment. So I couldn't understand how someone who was a writing candidate who wasn't even from Atlanta, but was from Alabama, who refused to debate, managed to get more votes than John Lewis ever got in the history of his career. Now you may have gotten more votes than me, but I seriously doubt you got more votes than John Lewis. Hopefully they won't send me to jail for making that statement. Here right, right. Hopefully they, they won't send her to jail for exercising her 1A right. I'm just saying, man. Constitution, man. Let's go. Here's another thing, right? In our community, when we talk about who are we going to elect, who are we going to stand behind? Because right now we see so much infighting where people believe we have to choose a party or we have to yeah. choose a color. No, you have to select the person that you have seen and witnessed doing the work in the community. These Facts. Facts. Now, I, I told the story a while back. I will tell it again because it is relevant to what she just said. I told my nephew, my oldest nephew, right, a few years back, because he was asking me, you know, how do I go about, you know, voting for somebody, you know what I mean? And just because, I, uh, you know, I register in a certain party, does that mean I have to constantly, you know, vote for these people who are in my party? I said, mijo, no, that's not how that works. It doesn't matter what party you, you register with, you know what I'm saying? You can vote for anybody. All right. Doesn't matter if the person is a Democrat, Republican, Independent, Libertarian, and whatever else uh, have you. If you, your your job as a responsible American voter is to hear each and every candidate. All right. Make sure you listen carefully to what each candidate is saying, and the candidate who mostly aligns with your values, your beliefs, your morals. You know what I'm saying, and someone who um. And make sure it's someone that actually has a record of doing good things for their community. You know what I'm saying? Because that is your candidate. That is the person to vote for. You know what I mean? Don't vote for somebody because, oh, just because you registered as a Democrat, or Republican, or Independent, or Libertarian, or whatever. No, you vote for the person that you feel, you know, is is best on your side, you know what I'm saying? Who, someone who has your best interest at heart and actually has a track record, a history of doing some good things for their community. That's the person to vote for. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of which party that they represent. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, let's go. These people that just hop out of the clear blue sky that haven't put any work in, in the community, how can you trust them to really be a voice for you? Yeah. Why are we overlooking the people in the community that are showing us that they're willing to do the work without ever receiving a dime from Congress? Another question I would pose to the community is since 2020, and let's say I lost, they say she beat the brakes off of me. I'll take that. But what has she done for the community of Fulton County, Georgia, since she's been in office? She showed up to speak for abortion when Roe v. Wade was being overturned. But I opened a pregnancy home for women right here in her district, and she hadn't showed up for that. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I wonder why that is. Maybe, maybe because they're not pro-life. Maybe because they're more pro-choice. Mm. Auntie Angie's house. So they show up when it's time for us to abort our babies, but they don't show up when it's time for us to give life. Oh. Yep, because they evil like that. I'll say it. When it comes to President Donald Trump, I want to say this because a lot of people accuse this man of being a racist. And I just want to say it. Just like a certain rapper who keeps referring to as as this uh, white man, the evil orange man. How you gonna call Donald Trump a racist, Mr. Rap God, when you keep referring to him as an orange man? Now who's racist? I'm just saying. And I just wanna say that I met President Donald Trump hey. working on criminal justice reform. I hey. too was one of the ones that said, no, I don't wanna go talk to that man. I don't know him. He. He hates black people. That's what they said. And so they said, well, Angela, he's working on criminal justice reform. You have a story. Many of you may or may not know that I served time in a Georgia state prison. 
And while I was serving time in that prison, I was pregnant. And when it was time for me to deliver my baby, I was transported to a hospital here in Georgia by a police officer and I was chained to a bed and I was forced to give birth to my baby with a sheriff watching for a nonviolent crime. Oh my God. Also separated from my family for a nonviolent crime. But you know, the Democrats said we only supposed to fight for the family separation at the border. They forgot all about the family separation in the border. They I like how, how she phrased that. Yeah, we're, we're more concerned about these families being separated outside the border, which is really not, not our problem, not to be mean or heartless, but I mean, Mexico's problems are not our problems. We have family separation issues inside of our country. You know what I mean? The father's being taken out of the households. We should be worried about, you know, keeping the families in our country whole. You know what I'm saying? Before we can look at the people coming into our country. I'm just saying, Trump said it best, man. America first. The people. Us, the people. Regardless of who we are, what we look like, what our, what our skin tone is, what our background is. We all come first. Bruh, let's go. They want Trump to apologize for the CP5, but they ain't demanded that Joe Biden apologize for the 94 crime bill. But that's something else. I had a story. They told me that this man was a racist, but I had a story. And I knew that if I could use my story to convince this man that there was a need to reform our criminal justice system, then I would do that. I wasn't going to be worried about emotions. I wasn't going to be worried about the media. I wasn't going to worry about the naysayers. I was going to go in with my story and see if I could make a difference. I found myself sitting in front of President Trump in the Oval Office and I shared my story. This is the man that they told me was a racist. I don't know. I'm scared to death. Is he going to hang me? I don't know. Is he going to call the KKK the way that the media has portrayed it? I'm in a danger zone. Just so happened that he heard my story. Not only did he pass the First Step Act, but he also made it illegal for them to chain women to the bed during their childbirth. And kudos to President Trump for that, man. This white man that they told me was a racist. They told me he hated black people. So not only did he just sign one of the most historic forms of criminal justice reform legislation to ever hit this nation, overturning the 94 crime bill that massively incarcerated black America. That was written by our current sitting president, Joe Biden that was passed by Bill Clinton. You know what I'm saying? And this is what I'm talking about. Some of you uh, ignorants that, that, that might be watching that that's ready to come at your boy sideways in the comment sections, y'all need to do yourself a favor. Go do your research. Know who it is that you're supporting. You wanna support Joe Biden? You better go look up Joe Biden's history before you make that decision. You want to support the Clintons? You better make sure you know who the Clintons are before you go and support them. You want to support the Obamas? Make sure you look up their history and know who you are supporting. Because all these crooked politicians are like used car salesmen. They, they, they sell you a bill of goods. They tell you all the shit that they think you want to hear. And they leave you stuck with the bill. Bring nearly 20,000 people to this day, the First Step Act. I sat in the Oval Office with a lot of criminal justice reform advocates. Mm. I saw Kim Kardashian on the front page taking her pictures. I saw Alice Johnson. I saw Louis, uh, Louis Reed. I saw Van Jones. I saw Jessica Jackson. I saw, uh, what's her name, Vivica Fox. I saw Isaiah Washington. But I don't see any of them here today. Ooh. Ooh. A lot of people want to take a lot of credit for being Yeah, all, all these celebrities, right? All these celebrities, right, with, with, with their political views and whatnot. First of all, I don't care what what political views celebrities have. I, I, I don't pay them to tell me, you know, who should be running our country and who should be telling us what, what, what to do, who should be in charge. No, I pay y'all to entertain me. You know what I'm saying? Whether you're you're a, a movie star, you know what I mean? A music star of some kind. You know what I'm saying? Bruh, 
if you're some kind of entertainer, I pay you to entertain me, not to lecture me as to who, as to how I should vote, who should, who I should support. You know what I'm saying? Especially when um some of y'all, you know what I'm saying, be doing some weird, evil, shady stuff, like going to Epstein Island. I'm just saying. Being criminal justice reform experts, criminal justice reform advocates. But to tell the truth, you didn't free nobody. Trump did. Hey. I have to applaud that because she spit some facts right there. The 1994 crime bill that the Bidens, well, Joe Biden wrote, that the rest of the Biden family supported, that the Clinton family supported, that the Obama supported, like she said, incarcerated a mass, mass quantity of of minorities and it took Trump's first step act to counteract the crime bill so he can free all those minorities does that sound like a racist white man to you because it don't to me I'm just saying I'm just saying bruh let's go Kim Kardashian had the nerve to put up a tweet to say free Gunna, Gunna is a YSL rapper tied to the Young Thug case, charged with Rico, the same DA, the same charges. You put up a tweet and say free a known gangster in Atlanta, Georgia, but you won't put up a tweet and say free President Trump. Yeah, ain't that some shit? How you gonna, how you gonna say, oh, free, free, free this thug, this criminal, or whatever the hell, you know what I mean? That has some legit charges that could legitimately, legitimately, legitimately be indicted if I could speak Bruh. um but yet here you got this 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 man who is willing to put our country first who's willing to put us the people first you know what I'm saying who's willing to help get our country back on track so we the people can have a better life a better way of life in this country can achieve the American dream have the have the ability to achieve the American dream. How can y'all look at that man as this evil, racist, white man? You know what I'm saying? How can you look at him as a criminal? I mean, I, I, I don't get it. I, I, I just don't get it. And I don't want to get it because you, you can't make that make sense. And the only reason you getting any credit for freeing anybody is because President Donald J. Trump signed the papers. Yeah. As a criminal justice reform advocate, somebody that's grateful to President Donald Trump for giving me a second chance, giving me an opportunity to run for Congress by clearing my record. Somebody who was completely oblivious to the corruption that happens in Atlanta, Georgia. I just wanted to do something for my community. I refuse to be silent. Not only will I stand for Atlanta, Georgia, not only will I stand for America, not only will I stand for the babies being aborted in the womb, not only will I stand for the mothers that choose life, I'm also gonna stand with President Donald Trump. Hey. Thank you. That's what's up. All right, y'all, so that was Angela King. And actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and wrap this up. We're going to pray in just a second. That's my goddaughter, y'all. And I tell that girl to tell the truth and shame the devil. Yes. And she does that. Yes. Now, I said earlier. All right, y'all. So that was the end of Angela's speech. And, yo, definitely going to show Angela some love by first off hitting that like button and subscribing. And we're going to turn all the bell notos on. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Shout out to Angela King. Y'all want to go show her some love as well? Y'all know how I do. As always, link for the original Vidya will be in the description down below. Y'all go show Angela King some love. Let her know it's your boy, JJV, done sent you. I'm sure she would appreciate that, as would I. And, uh, yeah. Stay tuned because um, I know Samson, uh, it's been a minute since we reacted to some Samson. I know he dropped a couple of songs. Um, one's been out for... Uh, a couple of weeks and then i think one just dropped a few days ago um i'll definitely hit those up uh because i know my man he be speaking on some facts and uh so yeah definitely look forward to those two uh samson samson reactions 
and uh, much, much more to come in a year. Until then, oh, and we also got the Trump Latinos uh, new song that I got to hit up as well. So look forward to that as well. You know what I mean? So yeah. And until then, y'all know the deal. If you're feeling the vibes, you know what I'm saying? Don't forget to like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe, especially if you're new. Shout out to everyone who's been subscribing. Really appreciate that. And don't forget merch. Go hit up the merch store. We got my, my free DJ 2024 uh, line out. And we also got, as part of my anti-jab line, the pure-blooded one hundo uh, t-shirt as well with the pit bull wearing the, uh, wearing the uh, shades. You know what I'm saying? So if you didn't get the jab and you're proud of that, hey, why not celebrate by wearing that, that shirt? You know what I'm saying? With the pit bull on it. You know what I mean? Brett. Brett. Anyway. <laughs> And shout out to everyone who's been buying the merch. I really appreciate that as well. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, I think I nailed everything. So with all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV. And y'all take care. Have a blessed one. I catch y'all next one. Peace. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, What's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason? JV. Just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. Jason, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name is Jimmy Patrick. I'm after the next video. I'm going to sing such a new day. Keep your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you're sad. If you're sad, you're sad. If you're sad, you're happy. I'm going to be too happy. I'm going to be expecting shit.